my first encounter with photography was around the age of 12, and my father would give me assignments to photograph a certain particular emotion, and it was a way to really exercise a new, a new world perspective with the idea that our, the way we, the way we see the world is, or, or the way we feel about the world is very impacted by the, the lens that we put in front of it. I guess I, I started photography when I was in my teens, and it, the impulse to document stories really came, came out of this impulse to experience the full, the full range of, of human experiences. And it's very much a vehicle for me to, ha to have those emotional experiences, to live, the, li to live lives, live other people's lives. I photographed about a month's travel, you know, and there is this running away from, like, turning our backs on the Targets and the Walmarts and the boredom culture that is so pervasive in not only not only in American society but across the the I guess modern world or um, but at the same time like I don't want to paint I, I don't want just want to be romantic because in in many aspects it's a story you know in many aspects on the road on the one hand there's this there's this magic to life and that we all bear witness to. But, but there's also the traumas and the pains that always follow and that always exist and that are inescapable in many ways. So to me, the story is very much about the, that light and dark. You know, I'm not here to say that everyone who's on the road has a reverence or is in awe, but um, I've encountered a really special community and special individuals who, who are celebratory of life and celebratory of the magic and the gifts that we're all given. There's one image of, of a girl who's kind of shaded, or she, she's sort of coming out of the dark. Um, and her, her traveling for her road dog is on the other side of the image. I quite like that image because, to me, the one area that, I, that I'm really interested in is the exploration of this hiddenness. And, and you know, on the, the need to, um, I guess, the, the need for these youths to remove themselves from all things modern and all, not all things modern, to, to remove themselves from all things um, that essentially feel fake. I get very strongly charged by, you know, by the hope that's kind of inherent within a beautiful image. I, I do think it's so much stronger combined with text and combined with research and my my vision you know as as a communicator i guess would be to to really combine research and writing with photography to to create a thick um, ethnographic text i think the master class has been a really important experience in the development of my photography. I mean, of course, it, there's no way of knowing what that experience means until I leave this room, I leave Amsterdam. But, you know, I've, I've, been, shoot, I've been photographing since I was 16 years old, and I don't think I've ever really taken a breath and really looked critically at what my images are saying on an emotional level. What are they... And what are they saying about me? I've never felt like photography is self-reflective um, in that sort of sense. Maybe you know, maybe that's true. Maybe it's it's maybe it's just a different understanding of the medium. 
but in this week I really feel like I've been challenged to um, take a you know take a step and look at the entire body of work you know all these years of being a photographer and saying am I am I really a vis uh, visual communicator 